Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're looking for a quick way of creating a table of contents. And the table of contents must include hyperlinks to the various sheets within the workbook. Now, the way I'm going to achieve this in this video tutorial is with an Office script. And Office scripts are available in Excel 365 and you must have a work or school license. You can always check whether you can use Office scripts in your version of Excel by looking for the Automate tab on your ribbon. Now, if you don't have Excel 365, I have created another video on this same topic. And in that video, I provide a VBA script to achieve the same thing. Now, I'll just show you how this Office script works. I'm on the Automate tab. I'm going to click on this script here. That opens up the code editor task pane on the right of my screen. And now I'm going to run this script. And you can see it's created a table of contents for each of the sheets in my workbook. And if I click on a sheet name, it would take me to that sheet. And the script also creates a back to table of contents hyperlink on each of the sheets. If I created another sheet, Let's copy Oxford and I'll call this Chelmsford. And if I run the script again, you can see it's automatically added Chelmsford to the table of contents. And if I click on that link, it takes me to that sheet and I've got a back to TOC hyperlink on that new sheet. Now the code for this Office script I'll make available via a link in the description below but I am going to walk you through the code. Now, the first thing this code does is check to see whether a table of content sheet already exists. If it does exist, it deletes it. It then creates a brand new table of contents worksheet, and it puts that worksheet in position zero, which is the first sheet in the workbook. Worksheets are zero indexed within the TypeScript code. Then once we've created that sheet, we add a title to it in cell A1. We make it bold. We set its font to Calibri. We set its size to 14 and give it a gray background. Then I enter some column headings for the table of contents, sheet number and sheet name. You can see those up there. And then we need to calculate the size of the table of contents range. And that will be based on the number of sheets in the workbook. Next, we need to loop through each of the sheets in the workbook, except that is for the table of contents worksheet. So I've created a variable here called TOC entry, and this variable will define how many times I loop through this code. This code is the code that creates the entries within the table of contents. Now, initially, the table of contents entry variable is set to one, and then this is the condition for that variable when it's saying that it must be less than the worksheet's length. Now the worksheet's length is the number of worksheets in this workbook. And currently there are 12 sheets in this workbook, including the table of contents sheet. So the largest value the TOC entry variable is allowed to hold is 11. This part here is what happens after each loop. And basically it's just saying increment the value in the TOC entry variable. So on the first loop, it's one, and then on the second loop, it's two. So let's see what this loop actually achieves. Now this line here is creating the numbers in column A, and we're using this get cell method, which is made up of a row number and a column number. And the row number is incremented each time we complete the loop. So on the first loop, we're entering a value here in A3. And then in the second loop, we're adding a value here in A4, et cetera, et cetera. Now this code here is creating the hyperlinks for each of the sheets. And you can see again that the row number will increment on each iteration of the loop. And here we specified we're in the second column of the sheet. Again, rows and columns are zero indexed. So once we've created the table of contents, what we need to do is 
loop through all of the sheets and remove any existing back to TOC hyperlinks. So these are the hyperlinks that you can see here. And the location of that back to TOC hyperlink is dynamic. So it'll always leave one column between the used range and where the hyperlink resides. So we go through and delete any of those existing table of contents hyperlinks, and then we reinstate them for all the sheets that are currently in the workbook, including any new worksheets. Then lastly, we activate the table of contents worksheet. We auto fit column B, and we turn the grid lines off for the sheet. Okay, so assuming you want to use this script, I'll show you how you can do that. I'll make a copy of the script. So you're gonna copy the script using the link in the description of this video. Then you'll go to the Automate tab on your ribbon. You'll go to New Script. We'll select the code that's already in that window and paste in the code that I've provided. And then you can click here to give the script a meaningful name. So I'll call this Table of Contents. Press Enter. And then if I close this down, you can see now that the Table of Contents Office Script is available in this gallery here. So the next time you need to run it, just need to press that button and then click on Run here. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.